Hi, this is Antti from React Studio. Uh, this is the first tutorial uh, about React Studio and uh, let's just go, go through some basic stuff like uh, adding buttons and importing assets, image assets and stuff. So first, uh, this is the welcome screen and uh, we're going to create a just new project from here. Just click the button. You can also create a custom size web app so you can decide uh, set the screen size and also just create component pack. But let's create the mobile first web app. Uh, this is the this is the project explorer. It contains app settings node here and uh, one screen which is already added by default. Uh, let's change the name of the app to something more useful. I'll call this React Demo and also we can set some app-wide styles uh, for example uh, navbar color from here uh, we can use something like this uh, and there's a text colors but let's leave it as uh, by, uh, let's leave the default values there also, there is a, like a headline styles and action button styles, and so you can use whatever fonts you want to use. Okay, uh, first let's open the the main screen. Just double click the screen. So this is the design canvas here, and uh, we can start dropping some elements to the to the screen. Maybe we import image and let's select the drawer box or you can import it as a full screen but in this time in this case we'll use the drawer box and here's the image. I can move it up move it around or align it from the layout tab uh, because it's not responsive. By default, we need to use the layout tab and put some like real real alignments here. So now it's uh, tight from the left side, but it's not tight from the right side. So I just click the right here. As you can see, it's now it's zero points from right in every device. Uh, I would like it to be around perhaps minus five points from right, and let's put it five points from left and perhaps let's always maintain the cost content aspect ratio so the image is always shown as a complete image here and then uh, now the image in image is in the foreground group group uh, but I want it to be scrollable so for example in, uh, in an iPhone size if in the landscape you can't scroll it if it's in a foreground group and the whole image uh, takes takes over the whole screen so just drag it to the scroll flow group like here and put it a little bit lower like that then uh, add some let's add a text I can either do it from here or just drag text element from from the elements menu uh, let's write something there and also do the same adjustment for the alignments left and right it's five points and minus five points and you can set some basic font settings and color settings from element settings here use custom color whatever you want that I will stick with the basic one. Okay, and then let's add a button. So the button is placed under the image and story elements here. And uh, because all the elements are in scroll flow group, uh, you can see they push uh, elements under the element you are moving. So, for example, if I just move this text it only pushes the button but I will put it back there and make the button 
wider and let's use the same alignments here five points from left and uh, minus five points from right and perhaps add a proper text read the story okay so now we've created one screen with image text and button let's create another screen just click from here and we can call this screen story Um, add a background. Let's yes. Let's add a background element. It's here. It's locked by default, so you don't accidentally move it. But and let, let's keep it as locked. And what we want to add here is probably more text. So drag a text element. Now we have a little bit longer text here and perhaps an image. And you can see image is placed now under the text element, but I want it to be on top, so just drag the layer on top of the top of the text layer. And this could be like a full 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 width image, so just select not zero points from left and zero points from right. Also, I will make it a little bit taller like this. Now oh, it looks great. And then next we add some alignments for the text. Minus five from right and five from left. So here we have another screen. Uh, I could I could just change the image from here, double click it and then browse for file. Uh, let's use something else. Does it, this looks good? Great. And uh, perhaps we want to have a navigation so when user uh, comes to this screen, he can browse back to the main screen. So we have this uh, some sort of native navigation system. You can easily just add a button and add a go back to the button but we use the nav bar in this case so it adds this fancy nav bar here and it already has the back button and uh, it looks great I think we just need to connect these two screens and then we are ready uh, go to back to the main screen select the button and then go to interact tab here and when user taps uh, what we want to do we want to go to story screen and as you can see there is a connection between these two screens and now we're basically ready we can just save the project and uh, run it to the web browser or send it to the cloud so you can test it with your uh, mobile phone or tablet or whatever device send it to your friend and here we have the same project running in the browser so you can see it's nice nicely responsive uh, I just used the full screen uh, we have the image here text here and we have the button read the story let's click the button okay we can read the story and let's go back and uh, then we can just use the mobile preview button just for exporting this and sending it to the cloud so you get a real link and you can test it with any device. It takes a while. And here's the URL for it. You can just copy and paste it and then use it on my phone, phone or tablet. And then we have this export react code button this will just export the react code so you can ship it uh, send it for a developer or just play with with the code so that was a basic 
really basic basic kind of uh, React Studio project with just two screens and a couple buttons and images and images and uh, texts. Uh, in next tutorials we're going to create uh, lists and uh, create more components and stuff like that. But this was like the getting started kind of kind of video. Okay, thank you.